Our weekend watch shines a spotlight on government activity. A Better Government Association investigation is taking a closer look at Governor J.B. Pritzker's personal investments. When Pritzker took office, he promised to shift his portfolio into a blind trust to avoid conflicts of interest. But the BGA's report found Pritzker's blind trust includes interests in a dozen companies with billions of dollars in state business. In a statement to the BGA, the governor's campaign said in part, quote, Governor Pritzker's blind trust is a uh, trust is blind. That means he is not part of any decisions, nor does he have any information regarding any investments. He receives no regular reporting on what the trustees and investment advisors decide to purchase and plays no role in any investment decisions, period. BGA reporter David Jackson is here to discuss the investigation further and good morning to you. Great to be here. Thank you. Great to see you again. So, David, let's start with the response from Prisker's team. What's what does BGA think of that? Well, we ran uh, that response and our reporting by eight nationally recognized experts in trust law as well as government ethics. And they said there are really two things that make this trust not blind. First, Governor Pritzker knew what he put into the trust when he created the trust. And second, every year, Governor Pritzker gets an annual statement that he has to file as his ethics disclosure, listing all the assets in the trust. If you know what you put into the trust and you learn every year what's in it, the experts told us the trust simply isn't blind. Mm. Pritzker's team also sent this statement to ABC7 saying in part, quote, the governor did, di did divest his personal holdings and companies with state contracts before he even created his blind trust and entered office. Anything the trustees have done since then, he has had no say in. Is that true? Companies that uh, uh, were in the trust when Pritzker created it that do have state contracts and then seven more that the trust purchased after Governor Pritzker created the trust. What the experts told us is that that really does uh, uh, create at least the appearance of a conflict of interest mm -hmm. and, and potentially a conflict. We ended up delving into these companies and, and specifically looked at one of the largest, a company called Centene Corp that the trust invested in. Centene Corp is a major insurance company that uh, handles about $20 billion worth of, of uh, state business since Governor Pritzker has been in office. We found that Centene Corp executives met with Governor Pritzker. We found that the uh, company and its bottom line really depended on actions that uh, state agencies and the governor's office took. And so when you really look at these companies, uh, at least three of them were lobbying the governor directly or registered to lobby him directly. And uh, other companies, five other companies were uh, uh, registered to lobby the state agencies. So there was clearly a kind of an intersection between these companies in which Governor Pritzker and his trust were invested and the administration of state offices. And again, we took all that and uh, uh, ran it by the Pritzker administration. They're not uh, challenging those facts. They're just saying that the trust is blind in their definition because Governor Pritzker doesn't tell it what to do. The experts told us that when he created the trust, Governor Pritzker could and maybe should have directed the trust not to invest in companies that did business with the state. I see. Well, David Jackson, I wish we had more time to talk about this. Thank you so much for your insight. We appreciate it. Great to be here. Thank you. Great to see you again. And so you can read this full report, the BGA report, as well as the full response from Governor Pritzker's team on the BGA website at bettergov.org. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.